All right, so day two, I guess, of actually working on the bus. Um, we actually came out here yesterday and there was a little small leak after I made the video prior about there not being a leak, uh, which is okay though, it was kind of to be expected because it was up in the emergency hatch and it was very minor, as, as much rain as we had yesterday. Um, for it to be just a couple of drops was not bad, but not too concerned about it because we're gonna be ripping that out anyway. We're gonna be uh, converting the hatches to something different. And ultimately we're gonna be sealing the roof extremely well, probably with the, uh, the kind of the polymer coolant type material. So not that concerned about it. My biggest problem right now is a rogue stripped screw I'm trying to get one of the brake lights off and the cover, one of the screws is completely stripped. So I'm trying to kind of bore it out and remove it because we took off the other brake light cover, one of the ones that doesn't work and it's just a blown bulb, which is good uh, because hopefully that means that all the lights that aren't working are just bulb issues and not electrical issues. But I can't verify that until I take off some of these other ones. So. That's where I'm at now. Not three. Actually, no, it's working. It just took a second. Yeah, it comes out really slow, though. Yep, all four. Thank God. Oh, why does it come on so slow, though? I have no idea. Like, how slow? I mean, like, these all come on pretty strong quickly, and then that one's like... Probably because it was a flashing oh. bulb. I'm thinking. At this point, I'm not worried about that. I don't know. All right, so... I spent part of the day trying to figure out this tail light situation or brake lights rather and it was a variety of issues but mostly it just came down to the light bulbs and the connections so we had when we got it we had one brake light working which was this one and I took the lenses off and I, I mentioned in the, the earlier clip how we had to fight through a strip screw to get this one off without breaking it and we did but unfortunately ended up cracking anyway which is awesome but what ended up happening was there was a lot of rust uh, around the connectors and on this one in particular there is a a probe where the connector is at for the light bulb that just was kind of dirty and it was just a little wonky looking so cleaned it off a little bit pushed it through a little bit more and now the light bulbs are working. So uh, the problem is I've got to replace other actual light bulbs because they're just blown. So like we had this one, which it looks pretty old. Yeah, it looks old. It looks kind of kind of cool actually. It's kind of like cool colors. <laughs> anyway, um, that one came out of here, and I was actually able to take one of the stoplight lights or stop sign lights. Put it in there and it works but it's very dim and it takes a minute to turn on i think because it was a flasher so um but at least we know it works yes we know the connection works we just gotta get the red bulb so now i'm gonna go run up here and hit the brakes and make sure all four of these work and if so i'll be off to the next set of lights all right moment of truth Yep. Yep, they're working. It came on slow, but it's working. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so you can see this one here is the stop sunlight. Yeah, it's good. 